Okay, uh, this is David M. I'm doing a video on my Masters Lighthouse Legend Studios uh, display case. This one is the number two version. Uh, this one can hold up uh, Hot Toys figures that are uh, one fourth scale. Uh, I mainly got this for my Terminator uh, um, Endoskeleton from Hot Toys. It's uh, really tall. I actually got one of these as well for the one uh, one fourth scale. I'm sorry, the one six scale figures, like uh, all the other ones that they make. Um, I'm I'm getting. I already have that one. I haven't put it together yet. I'm just waiting until they uh, deliver the diecast Robocop that I've been waiting for for like forever. And it's already August. I'm fucking waiting for it. So this, I had to order this on. Um, it's called. Uh, where it is? It's called. Uh, Excel. Where is it? Yeah, it's a glare. Excelshop.com. Um, they ship from like Malaysia or whatever. Um, I couldn't find anywhere else to get this right now. Um, I'm sure that Sideshow Collectibles website will have it eventually. So I'm um, just doing an unboxing and I'm going to be putting this together and show you what it's like when I'm done with it. When I actually have my figure in it. So for anybody who is looking for a display case to hold their larger figures, um, you know, specifically anything that's a one fourth scale, um, this would be it. All right. So, uh, okay. Um, let's just put this camera somewhere. All right. So, bear with me. I mean, I just, I just got this today. Um, cost about a hundred and what did it cost? Cost about ninety bucks for this, and then like another fifty bucks for shipping. Um, it shipped, like I said, it's shipping from Malaysia. Uh, that's their website, anyways. They they sell other figures there as well. I the only thing I bought there was this. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, okay. See. Number two, Master's Lighthouse. I think you can see this on the Sideshow Collectibles website, but like I said, they don't have it available yet. Okay, uh... Simple disassembly and easy storage, okay. Powered by batteries or USB. There's the, uh, some of the instructions anyways. Oh man, I've been waiting for this for a while. I got my Terminator like the other last week or so. And I've been waiting for this so I can finally display it. Can't wait. Okay. Come on, you bastard. Open. Gotta be gentle. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, like I said, bear with me. Um, I just got this, so it might take me a second to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult to put it together. I'm thinking that this is these are the acrylic uh, acrylic glass or whatever acrylic sheets. Okay, so one battery adapter, so it can be powered by a battery or an a USB adapter. Which is cool. Um, okay. Now, um, okay, how do I know which one's the front? Okay, I'm assuming this one's the bottom. Lighthouse base. Yeah. Okay, so the batteries, here's, I think this is the bottom. Batteries, uh, I think they're, uh, let's see, one, two, three, three AAA batteries? So I'm thinking three AAA batteries on the bottom and three AAA on the top. 
total of six, or you can use a USB connector. Okay, what is this? This is probably the uh, the bulbs. Damn it. How the fuck do they expect you to open this? Where's my knife? I'm trying to be gentle with this. I don't want to tear it up, you know? So there have been some other... Uh, here's the USB connector. There's been some other reviews. Well, not reviews, but displays of... Uh, the Master Lighthouse display, but it's not this version. I think I've only seen one online where he showed his version. Some uh, British guy from UK showing his Terminator in it, and uh, that's pretty much the same Terminator I got. Um, but everybody else, they have the, uh, the smaller version for the one six scale figures. And so look here, the uh, the bulbs. He's going to. Uh, these corners. It's okay. one, two. I'm gonna have to. After I put this together, I'm gonna get my batteries. Uh, actually, you know what? I should probably get my batteries now. Um, just give me a sec. We'll go get my old flashlights. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I got some batteries. I got three more. I just got to take it out of this flashlight. Okay, let's put them in here. Okay. It's one, two, three. Okay, so I put the batteries in here. Um, it's on the off position, but Let's see if it turns on. Okay, so I actually have to turn it on. Um, okay, let's see here. There we go. On. Off. Okay, so that bottom part of base works. Uh, okay, um, let me move this. Okay. Move this over here. Let's get the top part. to display this. I hope my shelf has enough room. I mean, the Terminator itself is about 18 inches tall and uh, you know, hopefully this thing, I know this thing will fit it, but you know, I'm just hoping it will fit on my shelf. Uh, I can't wait until I get the die-cast Robocop. I don't know about you guys. I'm a big Robocop fan. Terminator. Robocop vs. Terminator would be hella sick. It would have been nice if they made a die-cast version of the endoskeleton uh, one for one, uh, one six scale. Um, but, I mean, they did, but not as detailed as the recent Hot Toys uh, one fourth scale. Okay, so I put the lights on that one. Let me uh, bust out the batteries out of this. Just some MacGyver shit. So like I said, if uh, you need a uh, good looking display case, 
well, you'll see the final. When I'm done putting this together, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to re-record uh, after I put my figure in here. You get an idea what it looks like. Alright, so I got the batteries out of that bastard. Okay, uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, fuck, it's hot in here. Okay. That's in there. There we go. Wait. Turn off. Maybe it has to be like this. How much? There, there, there it goes. Okay. Let's turn this off. All right, the next part, assembling the sides and everything. Right. Okay, mirror goes in the back. All right, let's see. Hopefully this isn't too difficult to do. Oh, damn, this is pretty tall. Oh, I can't wait. stuff from getting messed up. <coughs> Here's the back portion. Okay, I'm retarded. These are the acrylic mirrors. They're covered. Okay. Okay. I gotta get my duster. Make sure I'm not gonna. Take, I'm not going to take, there's a plastic film on here, on the mirror, I'm not going to take that off yet until I put my figure in here. Just because, uh, I'm going to get my duster. Because when I do it, I want to make sure it doesn't have any specs on here. Okay. get this cardboard off. As you can see, here it is. Uh, how the hell do I get this off? What kind of special thing I need to do? Where the hell is the other one? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to peel this off or what. Well, I'm gonna have to come back. Well, I'm gonna stop it right now. 
Okay, I figured it out. Um, here are the acrylic sides. It's actually a sheet of uh, cover on each side. It was kind of a bitch. I had to figure it out. I was like, what the hell? Couldn't figure it out because it wouldn't come off easily. So I was like tripping about it. Yeah, I'm gonna tear one side off. Okay, it's one corner. Uh, Alright, this is going to take me a while. i got to take this shit off, so I'm going to stop again. Okay, um, I'm putting it together right now, as you can see. Um, I have the sides on. The, uh, the mirror, it still has a plastic film on it. I'm going to take it off when I uh, decide to put my uh, figure in there. I just got to take the front thing off real quick. And I will put the top on. I think it's kind of a bitch to get off. It's like... Oh, and... I bet you come off easier. Oh, such a pain. Alright, I gotta stop. This is gonna take a while. Okay, now I, I, uh, I finally took off the uh, these sheets. That was on the acrylic uh, sheets that, you know, the sides. It's kind of a bitch. It took me longer than I thought. I just had to be careful. As you can see. See, it's a lot more slender. There's the backing. This is like with the mirror. So, uh, let me turn on the... Let me turn on the, uh, the switches. Where is it? Uh. Okay. Let's see how <clears throat> it's, they turn on by touch. There we go. Let me turn off the light. It looks kind of foggy because like I said, I still have the film on the glass. Uh, once I get my figure in here, I'll take it off. See how you turn this off? There. So you have to do a full swipe. Otherwise, if you do this, well, now it's working pretty well. Full swipe. Nice. All right. I'll show more when I uh, get my figure in here and pose it. You'll see. Okay, I uh, finally put it together. Uh, the lighthouse. This is it right now. I have the front cover off. It's the Terminator. Now I'm going to turn off the lights and I'll turn on the light. <laughs> that shit looks hella sick. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. I'll put the front panel on uh, when I put it on my shelf. I just wanted you to see what it looks like. How wide it is. This looks awesome. Uh, let's see here. I might try to uh, adjust one of the LEDs. Turn that one. Uh, 
All right. That shit looks awesome. All right, so this is the Lighthouse Master Studios um, case for figures that are one fourth scale. From the from the very bottom of the base to the top is about 23 inches and 4 sixteenths. Just so you have an idea, 23 inches and 4 sixteenths. If you have any questions, you could comment. That shit looks awesome. Let's see if it focuses on his face. <laughs> 